Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. Wanted to do a little bit of testing on NVIDIA versus AMD. I really haven't had much time to do much testing, but um, I wanted to pit a Radeon RX 6800 versus an NVIDIA RTX 3070, because they're supposed to be roughly in the same ballpark. Now, uh, I've referred to Hardware Unboxed a few times. Again, I think you should subscribe or go check them out. But I'm going to throw a graph up where they have a, a, an average across a huge number of games that shows you um, that the RTX 3070 is about 11% slower than the Radeon RX 6800. Or in other words, the Radeon RX 6800 is about 11% faster. Now the card also costs more. Um, for the 3070, you're in the five to six hundred dollar range, and you're about a hundred dollars more than that for the AMD card, somewhere in that range. Video card pricing is so whacked right now; it's not even funny. Now, what I'm going to do next is show you a split screen between the two graphics cards running the exact same flight on the exact same computer. The only difference is the graphics card. Everything else is the same. I use my video card, excuse me, video camera to capture it so that we wouldn't have any loss in performance due to capturing things. And I don't have a video capture box. Um, I don't have it invested in one of those. So anyway, you have to put up with the fact I recorded this with my camera. Still doesn't look bad. And uh, so we'll cut to that now and, and take a look and see what that looks like. By the way, if, one more quick note. If you notice any jumpiness or screen tearing, I had VSync disabled for this test because I didn't want it to affect. If we went over 60 frames per second, I wanted the, the sim to be able to go over 60 frames per second, and I was only running this on a 60 hertz monitor. So I needed to disable um, VSync to allow the frame rate to go above 60. So after having taken a look at that flight, um, you'll see the, the AMD card actually performed a little bit better. I don't think it was 11%. It looked like more like 5% to me better. There's always been a little bit of an AMD penalty with X-Plane, but we've seen that penalty shrink and shrink and shrink, and it's virtually gone on the processor side, and it's pretty close to gone on the graphics card side. So at least in this particular test at 1080p, with the graphics settings the way that I had them, it's a pretty even match between the 3070 and the Radeon 6800. Um, again, keep in mind the 6800 costs a little more and does have twice the amount of VRAM, but uh, only about $100 more. So hopefully that helps. It's only one small scenario. It doesn't mean that 
AMD is better across the board or whatever, you can only really apply this to this particular scenario. 1080p, very maxed out graphics settings over New York City on a single display, the AMD card comes out a little bit faster.